Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Tom, if you're new here, I am your life dating coach and I help with all sorts of issues and I'm posting weekly to help you get through these tough times with modern dating. And if you have two seconds and if this is something that you wanna invest in and get better at, I suggest you subscribe to this channel and learn new things about yourself. I'm gonna talk about four early dating topics I want to talk about attraction okay this is one thing that you might want to consider of why you're so attached to this person what were you truly attracted to in this person how did this person make your best day feel were they a good communicator were they excited were they happy for you more importantly were they there for you to celebrate your best day and your best day necessarily didn't have to be you won the lottery. Your best day could have been, I haven't been productive in a couple of weeks and today I got so much done, you know, or you got a promotion at work. How did that person make you feel on that day? You have to actually ask yourself this question. Why am I attracted to this person? And you can't sit there and tell me, oh, well, they're sexy or they're very nice or we have chemistry. None of that means anything. Okay, that is the bare minimum. Okay, that is the bare minimum of a seed in the relationship. Okay. The foundation of relationship has to show empathy, character, integrity, a good communicator, you have to sit back and actually ask yourself, did this person actually have attractive traits does this person that i'm talking to am i actually attracted to them for the right or for the wrong reasons which brings me to topic two rejection is all a part of the process rejection is truth in a relationship communicating to you a feeling. The thing is, a relationship is a two-way street. You may like someone as much as you want, but it doesn't mean that person likes you just as much. And that's okay. Not everyone's gonna like you, and you're not gonna like everyone. It's just the way it is. The reason you care so much, and you knew this person for a small, small fraction of your life, you know this person at 5%. You're making up 95% of this person, this obsession, this thing, and you barely got to even know who this person is on a bad day. So in other words, you have no idea what this person's like on a bad day. When life goes wrong, and we all know it does, what do they really like? And you never, like I said, never had the long enough experience with that person to know what this person's like when you got fired, a loved one's died. You have no idea how things are when they get hard. So you cannot put this in your head that this person was your person when A, you can't even tell me proper attraction values or B, you have no idea how this person is on a bad day, which leads me to topic three. It coulda, woulda, shoulda. Well, first of all, you can't go back and think that if you change something, it will get better or would be better. Also, if it should have happened, it would have happened. Everything happens for a reason. Because in all truth, it was going to happen. It was always going to happen. They just saved you from dragging on your time, your precious time, that's something that could have happened versus two weeks to two years or two months to five months. This was going to happen and you need to understand that. There's nothing you can change and go back to that could have happened. You wanting to go back and change what happened is saying, I want to change who I am as a person. And that's how we learn. 
is these little things that happen to us in life make us who we're going to be. Which leads me to the fourth and final topic, the truth. Is it about meeting the right person or is it about meeting the right time? Like I've mentioned earlier, wishing what we could have done is wishing we could have been a different person. But going through something bad and learning from that brings you a new input because you didn't have that input two weeks ago. You didn't have that input a month ago. Wanting to go back and change something when you had no idea what was behind closed doors on their side of the story, you have no idea what they were going through. You have no idea where they were coming from. You have no idea what could have been going on. Just because there was mistakes made doesn't mean it was all you making them. They could have made mistakes also. They could have had issues you had no idea about. At the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, were they in the position to put in the work for a relationship? But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you guys are going through this, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm here to help. So, no further ado, Tom here. Hit the subscribe button. I will be posting dating advice relationship advice, early dating advice, and anything related. So thank you for getting through this video. Thank you.